Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Working with the LX100, which I have now, and the 4K files for video out of it, I've been having some hiccups with the computer. Now, uh, for those of you that have watched my previous videos, you know that I built a fairly sweet processing system uh, for my computer. I guess it's coming up on two years now, but it's still a pretty quick system. It's a i3930K, uh, six core Intel processor, 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, we have an SSD drive for the operating system, an SSD drive for working files, and a couple more uh, high speed optical drives, Western Digitals, for. Um, a cache and the Adobe files and then also for exports so uh, all in all still a pretty quick system yet I'm finding it hiccuping a bit with the uh, 30 um, or the 4k I should say files out of the LX100 uh, so um, my bottlenecks I think are I could use a little bit more RAM it would have been a nice, I probably should have bought 64 gig. RAM's gone up like crazy since I built that thing, probably four or five times the price. Uh, so I should have put the 64 in at the time. Wasn't thinking about it because I thought I'd be cheap to upgrade later. It's not cheap right now. 32 gigs should be enough. Um, maybe I'm getting more bottleneck with my video card. I've got an older 550 Ti video card. Um, and yes, it has some CUDA cores on it, but I think it only has uh, like 96 or something if memory serves. So it's not one of the faster video cards by any means. And I did cheap out a little there before. Uh, so that would probably be a good spot for me to upgrade. Uh, but so it's probably between those two things there I'm thinking um, I do have another SSD drive I'm going to throw in so I'm running three SSD drives which might speed things up a little um, because the Adobe basically it's cache and it's working file uh, can go on that third SSD drive um, so if you're having trouble this is why I wanted to to discuss this because some of you might be finding the same thing having a hard time with your systems keeping up with the 4k files because they're a lot for a computer to work with uh, so here's four reasons or four reasons four things that you might want to do to your computer um, upgrades or things to look at that might help uh, so first and foremost RAM uh, if you've only got 16 in your system that's probably going to be too little to work with 4k you probably need a minimum of 32 to make things really work nicely uh, and 64 certainly wouldn't hurt even though I know the prices aren't cheap right now for RAM uh, number two uh, video card uh, you're going to want something with a lot of CUDA cores. Um, check out the uh, previous video I did on video cards, although I should probably do a new one with the, the more recent ones. But you're going to want something probably like, um, I think a 760 Ti is a good sweet point right now. Or no, Sorry, not the Ti, it's probably just the 760. I'm going to check those out and see which video cards are the best right now. But you basically want one of the more advanced ones with quite a few CUDA cores. Uh, and you want to make sure that the memory speed is fast. Uh, so that's your second point, which could be a bottleneck for you for 4K is your video card. The other thing you want to do is make sure that you are running SSD drives. So you want to have an SSD drive uh, one for your operating system, whether you're on Windows or whether you're on Mac. You want to have a second one for your working files. And ideally, you could have a third one too for your cache and your memory um, system that Adobe uses because it has that big working file that it uses. I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but that it can, it, it, it's kind of like another RAM for it. Uh, and if you have them all separated out, and then a fourth drive doesn't have to be SSD but a fast optical drive like a Western Digital Black uh, for your exporting files. That'll make things a lot faster as well. So uh, you want to make sure, uh, so what do we have there? We've got your RAM needs to be uh, enough RAM. So 32 probably at a minimum, 64 would be great. Um, you want to have your video card up to date, SSD uh, drives, and make sure, uh, I guess the fourth thing is, is that you're running a fast enough chip on your system. Um, you know, I've got the 3930K, the 6-core. Six 6-core six is not essential. There are some really fast, well-performing 4-cores. But make sure, ideally, you got an Intel and a 4-core and one of the faster 4-cores. Uh, so with those four things right there, that should help you out. Um, another little thing to throw in there, uh, if your system is having some hiccups, uh, make sure everything else is closed while you're working on video files. Don't have a, um, a browser open for the internet. Don't have any other files or programs open at the time. Just work solely on those video files in Adobe or whatever processing system you're using or processing software for your video files. Uh, if I've missed something, let me know in the comments below if you have any other hints or advice for how to make your system roll faster with these new 4K files that are you know, beautiful files, but are taking a lot of resources. Let us know in the comments below. 
Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some more articles on video, on um, photography, on technology. We'll keep up to date with what's going on in all those things. Thanks a lot, folks. Stay tuned.